You were created to create. Yes, you. The person watching this video right now, you were created to create. Now your gut reaction may immediately be no. Maybe you aren't an artist per se, or a musician, or an architect, or composer, or programmer, developer, whatever it may be, whatever your immediate definition of a creative is, uh, but that's not what I'm talking about. See, the very first passage in the Bible, Genesis 1, 1, says, In the beginning, God created. So it then goes on to tell the story of creation, and what we see is the power of the words of God. See, he literally speaks, and everything comes into existence. So this idea I want to share is that our words create worlds. Much like God, who created everything and everyone, we too create with our words. The environment you exist in right now is a byproduct of the world you have created with your words. What you speak to yourself, what you speak to others, and what others speak to you. That's why it's so important that we be mindful of what we say. So you've probably heard the phrase, think before you speak. Well, I've always loved the acronym for THINK in regards to that think before you speak statement. So is what you want to say, is it true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, kind? Think true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, kind. If it's not those things, is it worth saying? James 1.9 says this, Understand this, my brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Now, if you were my wife or even some people close to me, you'd probably say that I certainly live by this passage, uh, but sometimes to the extreme, uh, because being slow to speak does not mean not ever speaking, uh, which is what I struggle with sometimes, but at some point I recognized in my life, uh, even maybe subconsciously before coming across this idea that my words truly do create worlds, and I want to be mindful of that in every environment I'm in, whether that's at home, that's at work, with friends, with my wife and daughters and family, whatever it may be. And so this idea that our words create worlds, this may speak to you or apply to you differently, person by person, but I stand by this fact that we were all created to create because our words, just like God's, they do create worlds. 